have a number of things for you. First and foremost, our MS4 submission is done. Uh, it's sitting on the counter downstairs. Uh, it's how now th open for the 30. How thick is it? Uh, well, so this is just um, the 30-day public comment period. So oh. this is the maps. This is the um, uh, some of the flow stuff. Um, by the time they do all the uh, MCMs and the BMPs and all those other acronyms that we're not going to explain tonight, it'll be probably four inches thick. Um, but the piece that is subject to public comment uh, is downstairs. Um, they will be, like, part of this is they have to come and do a, a public presentation. Uh, it'll probably be sometime in October um, as to the whole plan itself. So. Uh, so that's done. Uh, that is a huge, um, huge weight off of our chest. Um, as far as the plan, we look like, um, obviously, there's going to be money involved with this. But the good news is the plan that we put together, uh, it looks like we can uh, reduce twice as much as our minimum obligation to uh, in, in pollution in the streams. And uh, so if DEP comes and says, you know, we're not going to accept this or this, which they're doing in every town, it seems, we have a lot of, a lot of things built into it that we can say, okay, you can wipe that out. We still have plenty here. Um, street sweeping, because we sweep every day, which most municipalities don't, we're allowed to use that. And that, that comes out to almost 45% of the entire load. Um, so that in itself. But we're, we have to do some things like put... Um, uh, catch bags in the, in the basins and, and like a lot of things that we haven't had to do in the past that uh, will cost us money, but you know, one of the things that we're, we're worried about is when you take one of those basin lids up, mm -hmm. um, because it hasn't been removed since it was put in in 1960, uh, what's going to happen? You know, there's going to be an infrastructure issue. So um, we will piece that together as we go, but the good news is it's ready. Um, We've been working on this thing for a couple years, uh, so we are submitting it. Uh, a lot of people played an important part, from interns to TPW staff to the public works director to myself to our engineering firm um, to you guys who have you know have have given input. Um, so it's out there, uh, it's ready to go, and uh, we can cross that off the list until we have to start doing things, which is the day after we submit it. Um, so, um, the next thing is uh, we received uh, several grants, uh, fire grants. Uh, we received a grant uh, for about $14,000 for a gear washer and dryer, uh, $4,000 for uh, investigation equipment, and we received the Council of the Arts grant for a little over $1,300 for summer concerts. Um, and. Uh, can't make it a uh, public announcement, but tomorrow there will be a major announcement for two more grants that I'm extremely excited about because they are very important to us. Uh, and with our capital planning for next year, uh, they will be key. Um, so I'm very excited that we received an official word today, uh, but the public announcement through the state will come tomorrow afternoon, uh, in which case we'll be able to put the releases out. So we're, we're extremely excited about that. Um, we think that they're going to help us accomplish um, some uh, some I and I goals, some other uh, goals that council's trying to accomplish. So, um, so good news is we're moving forward with with those items. Yes. Uh, your significant revenue and expense items for the first half of September are in your iPads, and uh, I also would like to report that I hired Susan Schlenner as a part-time wheelchair van driver at a rate of $10.50 per hour. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Otherwise, I will report progress. Anybody but Roy Shane, can ask. Do we have yeah, enough, sorry, Shane. Shane, do we have, <laughs> do we have enough drivers um, currently, or are we still hiring? Um, so I, I think right now we probably fill it, but you know we're, we're open if, if there's other people that are interested. Um, we have three drivers to fill uh, all week. Um, so I think if other people are interested, I would encourage them to apply, and they'll, they'll take a look at uh, uh, what you know what we have available. But uh, okay. uh, we were short because we had one person resign, um, so this person will be able to pick it up. That van has, uh, I think, it was a very good move on our behalf to buy a new van and, and increase that business because borough residents really do use that quite good. a bit. So um, I, I'm 
I'm happy to report that uh, that van is, is constantly uh, transporting our, our residents back and forth to appointments. Do we have enough business that eventually we could have two? Um, maybe not, probably not, uh, just simply because uh, there are a number of other ambulances out there that, that are outside of our area. Because we have a, 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 an area that isn't growing, you know, it's kind of confined. If, if we were a Citronia, where you know they've got a, a really big area, or even a Mukunji, where they've got a, a, a very big area, um, then I would say yeah, because it's growing that quickly. But I really think that um, we have kind of a confined area okay. for that business. So I, I, I don't know that we would be able to justify two. Shane, um, can you just update us on the 10th Street call? Right? Nope. Yes. Um, <laughs> It's still closed. Yeah, it is. it's still closed. <laughs> Progress, so, but yeah, the timeline. I, I know. Sure. I asked the engineer out. this morning when he was in here, uh, meeting um, about the convenience store, which we shall not name, um, and he said that they had promised that they will start on the project by October first and be completed by Thanksgiving. Okay. Uh, uh, last time. month, I reported that they would start two weeks from that day, and a month before that, I reported they'd start two weeks after that date, and. In two weeks, I'll probably tell you the same thing again. Christmas? <laughs> be frozen, but, you know. It, it, has it been because of the weather? No. Listen, in my job, we don't make excuses. Okay. So I'm not even going to try. Okay. I can I can sit here and say the reason I'm behind in public works is because of weather, too, and that's an excuse. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm... It, 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 it is just a question that comes up frequently. Yeah. Sure. And I get asked uh, a lot more often than you probably do. Yeah. Um, and I ask that question three days a week. Yeah. Uh, to our engineer. Um, so, anybody else have anything for the borough manager? All right. Hearing none. Under president's business, I will declare an executive session to discuss personnel matters where there'll be no action taken. Correct. Which, therefore, when we come out of executive session, we'll just adjourn our meeting. So, at this time, we'll allow the. Oh, um, <laughs> we'll recess at uh, eight ten, and we'll allow at this time if the press. Uh, ready? What is it? Okay. Eight fifty eight. Maybe we'll go by that clock. All right, we're going to reconvene at eight fifty eight. Is there a motion to adjourn? Councilwoman McManaman, seconded by Councilman Anders. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Those opposed, say no. There are six ayes. Meeting adjourned at eight fifty eight. Fred, thank you for the chocolate. It got me through. That was very good. Huh?